Hi, thank you for joining me here. We will be making this mini library gift box. It is a combination of gift box and miniature paper craft. Let's get started. Download link is in the description. There are two Studio 3 files for Cameo, two SVG files for QuickCut Design Space. Upload the mini library SVG to Design Space. Once uploaded, select the whole thing, right click and ungroup. These are decorative elements, move them away from others. The white rectangle is for estate sheet. It goes to the door frame. This is the door frame. Two red panels are decorative panels for the roof. Next, we will need to set up all the score lines. I have grouped each panel with its score line, so it should be easy to set up. Click on it. See on the right hand side, the top layer is the folding line. Click on the top layer only. Go to the top and change it to score. Click on the item again. Click both layers. Check both layers are selected. Click attach. Same as the rest. Change the top layer to score and attach the score and its element together. If the score line doesn't match to anything, you will be scored in an individual page. Don't forget this little fellow here. Need to change the black cut line to score as well. Total 6 of them need to set up the score lines. Click Make it to prepare page. The first page is the estate sheet. Please change the material setting to estate. The rest is according to the weight of the cardstock used. Here I use medium weight cardstock. Here are all the cutouts. The two big pieces are for the mini library. This is for top handle. Two pieces for the bookshelf. These two are the decorative panels for the roof. This is the door frame. One estate sheet. This is the door handle. Let the fun begin. Get the two bookshelf pieces. There are six cut lines here. They are for position the shelf piece. Fold all the score lines upward. The top tab fold is backward. Same as the rest, fold upward except the top tabs. It should look like this. Fold the shelf. These two long tabs go through the cut lines in the middle. Secure the tab at the back with glue. Pull the side tabs through the cut lines on the side. Secure the, tab secure the tabs at the back with glue. Repeat the other side. Apply glue on the side tabs. Hide them behind like this. Same to the other side. The bookshelf is done. Grab the library piece with the door. We can see there are two score lines on the door frame. They are for position the door handle. Fold the handle in the middle. Fold the two handles to opposite directions. Position the handle to where the marks are. Don't glue here. Apply glue in the middle. Fold the door upward carefully. 
glue the acetate sheet on. Glue or foam tap the door frame on. There is a cut line here for insert the door handle. Open it up a bit so it is easier for the handle to get in. Fold all the score lines. Get the second library body piece and fold all the score lines. Fold the semicircle backward. Grab the handle piece. Fold the semicircle. The semicircle goes through the top. Use the handle to cover the semicircle hole. Apply glue at the back and glue together. Attach the two pieces of the library together. Leave the other end open for now. Get a bookshelf and glue it to the back. It should look like this from the front. The side glue tab should just avoid the cut line here. Make sure the shelf doesn't cover the cut line. Take time to position the shelf. Ensure the cut line is not covered. Use a spatula to open up the cut line a bit. Check the handle could insert to the cut line. Enclose the two ends. Secure the bottom with glue. Press the tabs from inside. Close the roof. Pull the semicircle handles through the hole. Insert the semicircle tab here. Adjust the side tabs if necessary. Use the decorative panel to cover the semicircle hole. The mini library is done. Upload the book SVG to Design Space. Right click and choose Ungroup. This one here is for inside book pages. There are a total of 30 squares for one mini book. This is the book cover. Click to select. Change the top layer to scroll. Click again to attach the two layers. These two elements are for making one mini book. If we would like to make more, select both elements and duplicate. What I do is I cut the inside pages first. Tick off the eye icon to hide the book cover. Go to the prepare page. One 12 by 12 cardstock could fit in five panels. Change project copies to five and apply. Move the element on page two to page one. Now it is ready to cut. I cut the book page twice, so total 10 inside pages. After the inside pages are done, tick off the inside page and turn back on the book cover. Duplicate the cover. Send them to cut. I use different colors of scrap to cut two covers each go. 
I tried to make books assemble easier. I designed inside page as one long piece and folding in between. The result isn't as good as individual pages. Just some behind the scene idea here. I have two piles here for the inside pages. Each pile could make five, so total ten books. Book covers here. To assemble a book, fold the score lines. I'm just gonna grab a pile to fill in the cover. If you want to be accurate, it is 30 squares for each book. Take off a few pages. It looks alright. Hold the pages and apply hot glue on the cover. Press firmly till the glue is dry. We could also apply glue on the pages instead of the book cover, whichever suits you. We have all the mini books here. They are just too cute. Time to pull them to the library. There is a tab to secure the door, so all the books are secured inside without glue. Hope you enjoyed the project. Thank you for watching.